This is week two of the Copeland tour. And in the last video blog, I mentioned that things were going to go uphill. And they totally have been. Things are getting better every night. And I'm realizing that there's all these little things that I love about being on the road. For starters, the incredible scenery that we get to see through all the miles and miles of America that we're driving through. It's pretty crazy. I mean, like, windmill armies, and mesas, and desert, fields, roadkill. And um, I realize I have this intense love for beef turkey. I'm not even joking, I'm eating it right now. Hotel coffee. Hotel pillows. Desert dinosaurs. And there's nothing better than peeling off your socks in the van after a show. Seriously, there's like 15 pairs of socks lurking around the dark corners of our van. It bugs the guys a lot, but it's awesome. While we're on this topic, why don't I take this moment to introduce you to the members of my band? So, let's start with Adam. Adam and I met in early 2007 after I posted ads online in music stores that I was looking for a keyboard player. And let me tell you, it's hard to find band members in a city that you don't know anyone in except for your pet tarantula. And don't get me wrong, Lance is an awesome saxophone player, but I wasn't looking for a saxophone spider. I was looking for a keyboard player, and Lance, I mean, you'd think he'd be good at keyboard because it's all his parts, but he's not. He's not very good. I'm going to get an angry text about this later. Anyway, so I started to meet the people that responded to my ads in, like, coffee shops and stuff, and I ended up looking up looking at their shoes a lot, because you can tell a lot about a person by their shoes. And Adam came, and he had like these really beat up Vans on. And I thought, this guy has soul, you know? Get it, like, soul, because they're shoes. <laughs> yeah, that was bad. Anyways, um, so I gave him my CD, and we started to jam in my apartment, and really started gelling. And then a couple months after that, we um, took the, sta the show to the stage, and I just, I felt like something was missing. Because there's a lot of electro stuff going on on stage, but you didn't have that dynamic live element, and I knew I needed a drummer. So, Maury came very highly recommended because he was in a lot of bands in Canada, and he had a lot of experience under his belt. So he was cool jamming with us, and we just started to play together, and it was like a trio made in heaven. So, thus formed the trio of goodness. He was the missing puzzle piece. Me and Russell met in a vintage music store, and it was love at first sight. He's one of a kind. He, he's older than all of us. Um, he's silver, has a lot of buttons, and a cool strap, and um, we all get along really well. We make a great team on stage, and we never really fight on the road. We're a happy family, I think. 